In the bustling city of Louisville, Kentucky, the Cotter Homes and Lang Homes housing projects emerged in the mid-20th century as a glimmer of hope for those in need of affordable housing. However, beneath the surface of these ambitious endeavors, a deeper and darker story unfolded. Over the years, these housing projects became synonymous with crime, violence, and social challenges, casting a long shadow over the lives of their residents. In this in-depth exploration, we journey from the early beginnings of the Cotter Homes and Lang Homes projects, unearthing the complex factors that contributed to their eventual descent into crime and hardship, culminating in their eventual demolition. In the aftermath of World War II, Louisville, like many American cities, faced a dire housing shortage. Recognizing the pressing need for affordable homes, city officials launched the ambitious Cotter Homes and Lang Homes projects. These housing complexes were envisioned as a solution, offering working-class families a chance to escape overcrowded and substandard living conditions. The early years were filled with a sense of hope and community building. Families from diverse backgrounds moved into these newly constructed homes, excited about the prospect of stability and a better future. The projects provided a haven where neighbors forged friendships, children played together in the courtyards, and residents supported each other through the ups and downs of life. As the initial optimism waned, the Cotter Homes and Lang Homes projects faced a range of challenges that sowed the seeds of their eventual decline. Limited funding and insufficient resources hampered the project's ability to maintain the buildings and provide essential services. The lack of investment led to deteriorating infrastructure, including broken streetlights, malfunctioning security systems, and neglected communal spaces. These urban challenges made the housing projects vulnerable to criminal elements. Drug dealers saw an opportunity to establish a foothold, preying on vulnerable individuals and perpetuating cycles of addiction and violence. Over time, gang activity and territorial disputes further exacerbated the crime problem within these communities. In addition to the urban challenges, the Cotter Homes and Lang Homes projects grappled with the weight of social neglect. The wider society often stigmatized the residents, perpetuating stereotypes and marginalizing the communities. This social neglect only deepened the struggles faced by the residents, making it more difficult for them to access opportunities, resources, and support systems needed to break free from the cycle of crime. As the project struggled to combat crime and provide a safe environment, many residents felt trapped, fearing for their own safety and the well-being of their families. The lack of viable economic opportunities within the community, combined with the ongoing crime epidemic, created a sense of hopelessness that seemed insurmountable. After years of grappling with crime, social challenges, and neglect, the decision was made to demolish the Cotter Homes and Lang Homes housing projects. The demolition marked a turning point in the history of these communities. It symbolized both an acknowledgement of the deep-rooted issues that plagued the projects and a commitment to finding new solutions. Following the demolition, plans were set in motion to revitalize the areas once occupied by the housing projects. The city authorities, in collaboration with community organizations, aimed to rebuild these neighborhoods from the ground up. The focus shifted towards creating safer, more inclusive communities, with improved infrastructure, access to quality education, and increased economic opportunities. The story of the Cotter Homes and Lang Homes housing projects in Louisville, Kentucky is a complex tale of urban challenges, social neglect, and the devastating impact of crime on marginalized communities. It serves as a stark reminder of the systemic issues that contribute to such conditions and the urgent need for comprehensive solutions that address both the physical and social infrastructure of these neighborhoods. The demolition of these projects represents a significant step towards a fresh start, where the lessons learned can guide the creation of safer, more prosperous communities for all.